ghost? Could it be a seraph? It does make you wonder. Perhaps the one who witnessed it had high resonance. you red-handed darn that voice it's a hellion purify him yeah you need something oh great shepherd is it all right if i deal with this boy i'm afraid not the only way to apprehend pickpockets is to catch them in the act but but he's if you do the crime you do the time no matter how old you are. This kid just wasn't ready for real-world consequences. <clears throat> hey, mister! Why don't you let Saray have a talk with him before you take him away? Just a word from the shepherd might steer the kid toward the right path in life, better than any time in detention. That would be pointless. Come on, it won't do any harm. What, you got some problem with Saray talking to this boy? I never said that. It would simply be a waste of time. You said this kid wasn't prepared to deal with the real-world consequences of his crimes. Are you prepared, mister? What? I'm part of a merchant crew that travels all over the world. You think I don't know why the pickpocketing problem is so bad? <laughs> I see. How much do you want? Put me on your level, we Sparrow Feathers value our customers' trust. Saray, we're taking this guy to jail, too. L like hell you are, you lying brat! You will not lay a finger on her. Shepard! Oh, hey, stop! Wait! Saray! Go after him. Okay! Saray, I'll go after them as well. Please purify that boy. Shepherd or not, I won't let you obstruct my duties! <sighs> Guard, leave him alone! Even we can tell something about you stinks! Yeah, what kind of guard are you? You think we don't know what you're up to when our backs are turned? You dirty crook! I think we're good here. Let's go after Rose. Yeah, you're right. We're heading after Rose, right? Phew! You made it! Is it over? Maybe. Should we follow him around for a bit to make sure? He'll probably lead us straight to his home. Oh, so he wanders and we tail him. That could work. All right then. Saray, Rose, you guys hide. I'll go wake him up. Looks like they've made their decision. Are you okay with this, Lila? Come on, we gotta do it. Rosie's gonna freak out for the rest of the day. Well, as long as we only follow him. <sighs> now! Yeah! Don't you think he'll stop pickpocketing now? We purified him after all. Hmm, not so sure about that. I've heard word of pickpocket gangs. Oh, really? We need to find out whether he was doing it on his own or with a group. What 
did you mean by you knew why the pickpocketing problem is so bad? The enforcers let him off a lot of the time in exchange for part of the takings. Then, when the guards need to hit their quotas, they round them up anyway. That's probably what that was about. No way! Look, he's going in. A noble's manor. It's clearly not his house. I'm guessing a pickpocket gang, then. And so that must mean that this manor would be their base, huh? Something tells me he's not gonna quit stealing. Well, crap. Come on, we're not done yet. Rose, it's unfortunate, but I'm not sure we should... Lila means that this is just a problem of human society. Right. It might not be something a shepherd should get involved in. Huh. Sorry. If he's doing it by himself, I'd be okay letting him deal with the consequences. But if there's a gang forcing him to steal, it's a completely different story. I gotta check to make sure. Yeah, I thought so. I understand. Let's go check it out just in case. You sure? But no more than that. Understood? Saray, Rose, even if you don't intend them to, the powers of the Shepherd and the Squire can greatly influence human society and the spirits of men. Please don't forget that. All right. We'll just watch and see who goes in and out. Bored. Who knew that we wouldn't see anything for days on end? You all can go back to the inn. I'm staying here. It's okay. Shh. Someone's coming out. Looks like we might have read the situation wrong after all. Those kids. You think maybe they're not being forced to pickpocket? <sighs> Go after them, Rose. It's bothering you and Saray, isn't it? I'll check out the interior of the building. Thanks. Okay. Don't go for anything big, got it? Only money and jewelry and stuff. Are they gonna have anything like that? That shepherd guy did something, and now there's lots more people donating stuff to the sanctuary. Oh cool, that sounds fun. Priests won't be mean to kids, and if there's any real problems, we can always start crying. <laughs> I'm good at that. Hey, is this really okay? It's okay if you're us and not them. Is this what kids are like these days? Dangerous times. <sighs> Those kids barely have any malevolence at all. Children and their brutal honesty can be even crueler than corrupted adults. As you've seen. <sighs> I'm back. Oh, Zavid. How was it? Empty building. Probably an abandoned house. Looks like those brats are camping out there. So then, those kids are acting on their own. Snatching time! <sighs> now that we know the score, do we want to report them to the guards and end this whole thing? After all, they're not Hellions. No. We have to say something. You're right. Hey, you all! Stop with your thieving! Darn it! What do you want? Look, I never did nothing! We know all about what you're up to. 
fooling the priests into thinking you're helpless orphans and then robbing them blind. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Oh yeah? You got any proof? This here is the shepherd. His word is good enough. Th that's perjury! False witness! Princess Alicia and the people of Lady Lake all trust Saray. Because he's been living an honest life. How about you? Will anyone trust your word? <sighs> Give it up, kid. What else can we do? The adults all abandoned us. If we want to survive, stealing's our only choice. Rose, maybe we ought to... Come on, Saray. Let's bring them to the guards. But to think children their age could conceive of such wretched duplicity. And the other children? They were all caught by the guards and hauled away. I see. Those who commit crimes must be punished, even if they are children. It's the way the world works, but it still pains the heart. Yeah. Hm. Hey, isn't this an Earthen Historia? Oh, that... that was a donation from someone in the city. It looks rather rare and precious, so we've been unsure whether we should sell it. Nice! Good call, Mr. Priestman! Huh? Oh, uh, thank you. Father Brunor, we're actually collecting these. You think we could have this? We pay for it, of course. No, 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 please, that's not necessary. If it's something the Shepherd needs on his quest, by all means, please take it. I'm sure the donor would be overjoyed to know that their gift had been some help to the Shepherd. Thank you, Father Brunor. He beat the dragon in one hit! And a fully materialized one at that. What tremendous power! <laughs> Dang. Just look at how much malevolence is swarming around him. Gets me itching for action. Yeah. I'll definitely need to get stronger. <laughs> That's your reaction? I don't know whether to be worried or relieved. Thanks, everyone. I needed that. You're okay with how it worked out? It's better than ignoring it and spending the rest of your life wondering. Yeah. Highland is moving closer to war day by day. No one will listen to me, no matter what I do. Because you've been digging a hole, girl. You're stubborn as a mule, but even so... I won't give up. The strength of a knight exists to protect, and their kindness serves the people. <laughs> you never change. Saray, how are the ruins in Lake Haven Heights? Well, you know, I did obtain the spiritual powers. Wonderful. Though it's a shame, you just missed meeting my master. Alicia, I needed to tell you about... 
Maltran taught me the way of the spear at a young age. When I train with my master, I feel so invigorated. I don't enjoy all the scratches I get, but it's only because I lack experience. What kind of person is she? Well, she's kind of like... Like a mother to me. But she doesn't like me saying that, says she's too young. But she taught me martial arts and the way of the knighthood when my mother died. I was only seven. I owe her much. Elise. Though, I fear I rely on her a bit too much. That's not true. I'll try to convince the Chancellors. I do everything I can. Are you sure you don't want to tell Alicia the truth about me? Well, at least you have a sparkling personality. You really are a pillar of support for her, you know? That's it? You decided not to tell her just because of that? You're weak, as both a knight and a shepherd. She's of no use to you now, right? Why don't you just leave her alone? I'm interested, that's all. Of what will become of the foolish princess, who would needlessly turn herself into a martyr for her country. I know Alicia will see it through. <laughs> do you really think so? I... You really don't, do you? After all, you don't even think she has the strength to withstand the truth about me. <sighs> Shut up! As long as we take care of it before she knows, everything will be just fine. No need to rush. The tables will turn soon enough. All is according to his plan. Are we not able to tell Alicia the truth about Maltran? Because we can't actually believe in Alicia, even when we really want to? Uh, she's just trying to provoke you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's keep it a secret. Are you sure? Yeah, I agree. It appears harming Alicia is not part of her grand plan anyways. Then I have no objections. Rose, you agree too, right? You sure told her off. Saray looked like he was done with her, so I just took it from there after she started talking smack. To be honest, I'm scared to tell Alicia the truth about her master. Alicia really trusts Maltran, more than any one of us can imagine. Ain't nothing out of the ordinary for Hellions to be living among humans these days. Well, anyways, I got a feeling we'll meet that babe again. Yeah, I know. Don't get so serious. It'll be fine. Come on, stay psyched up. Right.
Iris gems really are beautiful. Too beautiful, more like it. That's why most people think they're just glass, or some other kind of decoration. I see. What are they actually made of? It's not a natural mineral. They were most likely crafted through the use of multiple seraphic arts. Even so, it's practically unbelievable that there's something inside that lets you see the past. I wish you could watch anything from the past that you wanted. I'd watch a thousand years of history. Better hope you live a thousand years then, because that's how long it'd take. Oh, right. <laughs> that would be hard even for a seraph. Both iris gems and ruins are just fragments of the past. What's important is what you get out of them. Because history is the architect of our hearts. Whoa, Miklio! That was a sweet quote. You think so? I'm planning to put it in the book I write one day. Well, aren't you full of surprises? I mean, don't you think it'd be a waste not to pass on our tale to future generations? I would love to read your book, Miklio. I'll give you a copy. Signed, even. Darn. I gotta come up with my own quote and signature. by malevolence even in death. Knock this time! Torrent Spear Don't push yourself! I need a signal of wind! Spear Card my God! Strike! Strike is left! Fear on the charge! Knock this time! Knock this time! Knock this time! Fear on the charge! Here goes! Fear my wings! Here goes! Fear my wings! Time to protect you! You're working so hard, Lila. But who's it for? If you're asking if it's for you, then yes. Partially. That was a difficult battle. Let's restore our vitality. Referring to the group of children we met back then? We should let them know. If the army is after them, they won't stand a chance. That's why I told them to stop. Looks like this Margaret or whatever might know something. But wasn't she bullied, though? I have a bad feeling about this. Saray, why don't we take a rest at the inn? Good idea. That's Margaret's home, besides. know about Maltran? Even if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. My name's Saray. He's the Shepherd. The Shepherd? Truly, I do feel something special about you. I believe this man possesses some resonance, however slight it may be. But Shepherd or no, no one has yet to believe a word I say. It hurts when people don't believe you. I understand how that feels. But I found people who would listen to me and believe in me. And that saved me from the pain. My word! So please, tell us your story. Ten years ago or so, 
I served as a knight of Rolands in a conflict against the Kingdom of Highland. That is where I encountered her, Maltran, famed as the Blue Valkyrie. Before we could even react, in the blink of an eye, that lone woman had wiped out our entire unit. I turned tail and fled. I had no pride. I simply didn't want to die. As my cowardly legs carried me away, I glanced back at her. But she was being attacked by monsters, great lizards the size of men, wearing the armor of Highland. Hellions! I swear that I saw them. Saw those beasts swarm over her as she fell. And yet, Maltran is still alive. I believe your story. Thank you. You do have the way of the Shepherd about you. Show enough! Please take this and continue to care for the people, especially poor lost souls such as me. I will. Thank you. to her whereabouts. We know something bad happened. Maybe Syndra and Margaret had already known each other from before. So you think Margaret had such strong resonance that she could talk to Seraphim? Yeah. It's like they were once friends, but... Something happened. Yeah. All the more reason we need to find and talk with Margaret. A little girl can't have gone that far away. Let's look for her tomorrow around the city. Ah! A scream? Right outside! When the moon is out, could it be behind the murder streak? Huh? It's kind of weak. Oh! A wolf monster! She has resonance too? Dang. Really? Damn right.
Is that a monolith? Its own kind? Don't under Rest me. Serpent of Water. Lila, is this a Rougarou as well? No, this is a Hellion breed war. It's a beast turned Hellion. It's agile, but open for attack after it moves. What? Wh what is going on? Margaret? You can tell it's really me. Even though my mom said I'm a monster? Of course. I know you're not a monster. No. But I became one. Because me and Wiggs got so angry. Wiggs became a super scary monster all of a sudden. And then... Killed the people in the city. I got really scared. And so... I went to go see my mom to get help, but then my mom... Don't worry. Your mom is gonna come soon. Really? I... I'm so happy. Syndra, I sensed the presence of Hellions, and also a bit of nostalgia. I can hear Syndra's voice. Weeks. let's go to the bells. Syndra will be waiting for... Margaret I could have stopped this if I hadn't run away Syndra All Margaret said was that there isn't a seraph enshrined in the sanctuary I see, and so that must have been what led to the bullying Yes, in the midst of the intensifying clash between countries The church has been disciplining their believers more strictly it's gotten to a point where they've started to act hostile towards anyone else with conflicting values and beliefs. Even if it is just some child's nonsense. So that's the reason why you left. Out of utter disgust with humans. Shepherd Sure, please. Could you give me just one more chance to protect the city? I'd like to, but that city is still... But she's willing to do it, right? Yes. I won't have people speak of my friend as a liar. I've always thought that having resonance was a good thing, but I guess that's not always true. Once you can see with it, your world is never the same again. Depending on how you take it in, you could change for the worse. It's all up to the user whether they use it for good or evil. Everyone's got their own values. But different values bring conflict amongst the people. Humans and Seraphim effectively live in different worlds. No wonder it's hard to live in harmony with each other. It's the same for shepherds and humans. What's important is having the capacity to accept each other's differences. Right. We're separate beings in the end, after all. Besides, Resonance has nothing to do with this anyways. Those bullies are at fault.
I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. So, did you regret making Saray a shepherd? It's the kids. The ones hunting soldiers. They're dead. Did the army do it? Doubtful. They wouldn't leave corpses in the open like this. Nor would they go to such extremes. Who else could it be? Uh. Thank goodness! One's still alive! We did... what they asked. Why? Saray, watch out! Why did you kill them?! Could it be the chief? I don't know. We'll deal with that later. We must purify her. Dance and burst! Sword thread! Burn the darkness! Dance and burst! We did it, but she was the only one we could save. Hey, over there! Oh, he's still breathing! Whoa there, Mr. Shepard, what's going on? Oish! Perfect timing! We need help! Let's start with the treatment. Just leave the young'uns to me. Neither of them have mortal injuries, but they're not waking up yet. Did our purification fail? No, it's more of a psychological kind of deal. 
What on earth could have happened to them? He... he beat us. We did what we were told and lived as bandits. He? So you guys were hired by someone? Yeah. We weren't sure we wanted to keep hunting lone soldiers. Uh, then he told us there was an easier way to make money. We did what we were told and attacked the carrier. And he bought all the stolen freight for a high price. He even promised us that he'd hook us up with legit jobs soon after. So who is this guy? I don't know. Our leader was the only one who talked to him. And I'm not that smart. But we believed in him because we always wanted to have honest jobs. But then he said he was going to destroy all the evidence and send a bunch of soldiers and killed everybody. Destroy all the evidence? We... we were so foolish. I've never been smart, but I'm so disappointed in myself. Please... Avenge them. They took all our money, too. We only have this, but please. And Earth and Astoria. Don't worry. The scattered bones will see your request through. Rose. Was that a marriage ceremony? And there were a whole bunch of shepherds there, too. It looked like it took place at the Shrine Church in Pendrago. And that was Maltellus' crest. Was his Prime Lord Maltellus? Uh, please excuse me for a moment. Uh-oh, she took off. Almost like you were picking on her. We didn't mean for her to leave. I know. Well, either way, the bottom line is it looks like our boy Maltellus is wrapped up in this somehow. Yeah. For that many shepherds to exist at once, you'd need a power on par with the Five Lords. Yeah, but let's leave the speculation at that for now. So long as we're gabbing about it, Lila's stuck in there. Oops, sorry, I forgot. Are you really going to take on his request? Yeah, I mean, I kinda already did. Huh, are you sure this is okay? I hate to sound harsh, but... Those children were accomplices in a crime. Yeah, meaning in this case, the mercenaries punished the group of thieves who caused them all this trouble. But, I mean, those kids were just trying to survive. They knew they were doing a bad thing, and they were trying to break free of that vicious cycle. Someone took advantage of that and murdered them. What those kids did was wrong, but even so, the one who betrayed them was just as wrong. Maybe, but... sorry. I don't know the right answer to this. I'm not blaming you. Sorry if I made you feel that way. And it's not like it's just their problem. Huh? Just don't worry about it. Seriously. I'll totally do the detective work. If it's a Hellion thing, it's all you. All right. Let's find out who's behind it all first. You got it. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I should ask Agil to look after these kids.
jeweler who handles iris gems, huh? Let's head for Western Bolt Gorge. Hey, wanna go ask them about the iris gems? Alrighty, I'll go ask. Will you be alright? They look pretty sketchy. Leave it to me. All merchants are like family. Money keeps us together. You sure about this? Let's just leave it to Rose. You're not savvy enough to know when we're being tricked. Yeah, speak for yourself. I got it. They said they saw an iris gem in the ruins north of here. A ruin in the north? Weird. Why do they keep laughing? Are they laughing at me? They think you're a phony shepherd and that I'm a victim of your con artistry. They've got it wrong. It can't be helped. There are many who claim to be the shepherd. But still, to be treated like a con artist? No point in arguing with them. Yeah. It's way better to be laughed at than to be frightened of. Thank you for taking the time to come today. Lo, I am the Shepherd, Malfor. Hey, tell me, Shepherd. Is it really true that you saved the plagued city? Oh, it was nothing. I just helped the Princess of Highland a little by building a bridge in a single day. Then what about the Battle of Blavend? Did you really stop the war? Why, it was easy. All I did was tell them that this isn't the time to be quarreling with one another. It was a hard battle, but I was able to gain support from the Roland's Night Squad. Isn't that Captain Sergei from the Platinum Knights? Then it might not completely be a lie. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to do it without getting caught. <sighs> I suppose the Knights wouldn't just let some mere imposter do as he pleases. So you mean to say this bloke must be... an actual shepherd? It matters not what I am, but please, no matter what, believe in the blessing of the Seraphim. That is the only way to bring salvation to this world. If the people desire it so, I, the Shepherd Malfour, shall put my life on the line to deliver their prayers! Shepherd Malfour! Shepherd Malfour! May the Seraphim's blessing cover the world! This is ridiculous. Saray's the one who did those things. And I'm sure Sergei knows that too. There must be a reason. Probably. Please wait, Shepherd Soray. There's a reason behind Malfour's actions. I'm sure. I trust Sergei. We're quite unsure how he worked his way in, but Malfour has been a favorite of General Tuller. And so, the General has ordered the Night Squad to protect the Shepherd, Malfour. That's the reason? Being a servant sure sucks. General Tuller also has a close relationship with the Imperial Majesty, and... No more excuses! Whatever the reason is, it is clear I have sullied your honor. I can only apologize. <laughs> Not sure I had honor to start with. Anyway, it was nice to see that people expect so much from the Shepherd. It's a good sign. What a gentleman. 
Gentlemen, Schmettelman, what were you doing just standing around? I'm afraid I could do not. Knowing all the while who the true shepherd was. Looks like they took advantage of just how earnest you are. It's pretty ironic. The less affected by malevolence you are, the harder it is to live an honest life. Such is the human condition, I suppose. Even so, that is how humans live. It's tough. been killed already, and they haven't a single clue. Please calm yourselves. We are doing our best to find the culprit. But that means nothing if you can't catch him! There's a murderer on the loose! I understand your concern, but please believe us. I swear on my honor to find the culprit. Huh. Rumor has it you have your eyes on a different kind of honor. Isn't that right, Captain? Starting to butt into politics more, aren't you? So that's what this is about. Of course, political power is more important to you than citizens' lives! No, I would never do such a thing! Everyone, the affair with Cardinal Fortin is still under investigation, and the knights are shorthanded as a consequence. These knights are only human too. Please, don't judge them so harshly. Thank you so much for your kind words, Father Amathor. Humans are weak, and we must all acknowledge that evil lies in the people's hearts, especially those who allow themselves to fall to their own arrogance. Indeed. We are weak creatures, but that is all the more reason for me to work harder. As expected of Captain Sergei, salvation shall come your way when you are in need. I do apologize, but such is the situation. I must go join the search squad. I wonder, could Hellions be behind all these murders? Let's check it out! Sounds like this Hellion is nocturnal. Let's wait until nightfall. Something just doesn't feel right. What is it? How should I know? It's just a gut feeling. I just noticed, whenever Miklio gets angry, it always has something to do with Saray. What? That's not true. Then what's with that response? Come on, you guys are family. like something's going to pop out. Hmm. Did I scare you? No. I just have a bad feeling is all. Saray! Over there! The culprit's inside the church! Killer? Why did he go into the church? Are they dead? 
This is not death, but salvation, good Seraph. I have purified the evil. He... he heard my voice? Why so surprised? You were the one who showed me the way in my dreams, time and time again. That the world's salvation was my sworn duty. You call this salvation? This is massacre! The blame rests on them. They could not admit their own weakness. Instead, they would blame their own country, the knights, even the church for their own blasted misfortune. Such disgusting vermin. What would you call their illness, if not malevolence? Are you serious? Quite, I assure you. This world is so hopelessly smitten with malevolence. If I do not dispose of the evil ones, there can be no future! It may seem cruel, I know, but it must be done. That is my sworn duty! Lila... is he...? No, he's not a Hellion. Father Amathor, you are under arrest for mass murder. <laughs> you assume I can be bound with the laws of man? How foolish. But then again, who could blame you? I am all too aware that your brother was killed by Cardinal Fortin in an attempt to fight her. <sighs> he must have been but a weakling who could do nothing but blame his misfortunes on the church. And oh, you poor soul, who's been working so hard to atone for his sins, your heart is truly worthy of salvation. How dare you! Enough, Soray. What he says isn't far from the truth. Of course it isn't. Please, confide in me what troubles you. After all, it is my duty to save lost lambs like yourself. Soray, Seraphim, I beg of you. Please, don't abandon us humans. Wow! I never knew there were once so many Shepherds, all using their purification powers on Hellions! So the question is, why and how did they disappear? What do you think? If the existence of so many Shepherds depended on Maltellus, then... When Maltellus disappeared, so did all of them. Isn't it too early to jump to conclusions? Well, what other possibilities are there? Maybe humans abandoned their faith in Seraphim to the extent that Shepherds just ceased to exist. Who knows? Maybe a monster crawled out of the ground and gobbled them all up. Maybe only people like Saray can be shepherds, and there's just fewer nice guys in the world these days. Huh. So there's plenty of other possibilities. I guess that means we have to keep collecting information. Yes. If you do that, you will surely arrive at your answer. understand where I got that weird feeling from. I couldn't sense any murderous intent behind this incident. Didn't that priest refer to killing as purifying? Guess he's dedicated to his cause. He really believes he's saving the world. And that's exactly why he had neither built up malevolence nor became a Hellion. That's more disturbing than anything. How could his sense of righteousness become so distorted? Didn't he say that a seraph showed him the way in his dreams? That's probably what caused this. Something so formless. Something formless? Like... an illusion? 
Maybe Misty is behind all this. Even if Simone did have a hand in it, that's not enough to make him atone for what he's done. No matter what the reason, killing is a sin. For him to be able to kill without even realizing that means he's just like a monster. Weak ones, crazy ones, strong ones. There's all kinds of types out there. Yes, but there are people like Sergei as well. Yeah, I know. Hello. Is Alicia here? Shouldn't you announce yourself? Or don't you have any respect for this family? I'm sorry. My name is Saray. Saray? Pardon my rudeness. The princess has spoken highly of you. She's out right now. We're not sure when she'll be back. Work-related? Yes. She's going after a suspect who's leaked information to the Roland's Empire. There definitely must be a spy going around, given the timing of their advancements. Yes, even Alicia was under suspicion for it before. Wow, the Princess of Highland would go so far as to do that herself? No, it's supposed to be the military's job, but she's acting by herself. Saying that she had to stop a clash between the two countries. But isn't she taking it a bit too seriously? Ever since the Battle of Glaven, she's been pushing herself so hard. That's very like her. I'm worried. She behaves so recklessly when she's alone. She just headed out to a round-eyed forest to gather info about the origin village, Camlon. Huh. Camlon, you say? It's the village where the Age of Chaos started, I think. But it's just some legend. Yes! She heard a rumor there were some clues in the depths of a roundite forest and headed out there. So that's how she came to Alicia. But her hunch was wrong. I've never heard of this origin village from Gramps, nor the other villagers. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. I'll take my leave. Please tell Alicia that I'll come visit again. She's pushing herself as a princess. Alicia's always been like that. That's exactly why I'm worried.
Don't move. You are under arrest for leaking confidential info. Looks like Alicia came to the same conclusion. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, this is just a misunderstanding. Please take your leave, Princess. This is... Don't make excuses. I found evidence of connections to Rolands in this very residence. Renovations for Grifflet Bridge, order forms of military arsenal, unauthorized transactions for... That is simply a reward for his support. Support? Logos is an important person who connected Rolands and Highland through unofficial diplomacy. What does that mean? On the surface, diplomacy between Highland and Rolands has been cut. He must have been negotiating with them on his own for some time in secret. So then he's not a spy, but a liaison. Meaning even with the war going on, there's been work done. <sighs> Such is politics. This is a major problem. If the channel gets blocked, both countries will fight until they're both obliterated. But no one ever told me anything about it. Of course they didn't. Not to someone like you. I hope you're prepared to pay for your indiscretion. In any case, we must change our strategy. We will be expecting your sincere apology at a later date. Understood. Killer, Lila. You were in perfect harmony. Man, I'm actually a bit jealous. Yeah, compared to him. you still got a long way to go. Lila, I wish I could go on a journey like that with you. Saray. Excuse you, Saray. Huh? Yes. This journey now is every bit as enjoyable as it was back then. Thanks to everyone here.